Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas! Welcome to another episode of This, That, and the Other. Today, I'm going to read Twas the Night Before Christmas. So, have a go at it. Twas the Night Before Christmas, went all through the house. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And mom in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away from the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave luster of midnight to objects below, when what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and tie eight tiny reindeer. With a low old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his courses they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Viction. On Comet, on Cubit, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As the dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house top. The courses we flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. His eyes how they twinkled, his dimples how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His drool little mouth was drawn up like a bow. And the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of the pipe... He held tight in his teeth. The smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old self, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of the eye and a twist of the head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, as he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all, a good night! Thank you. Merry Christmas to everybody. I hope you enjoyed this reading. As always, like, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching.